Anything we don't know about Yukon Striker? Um, it's hard to know what you already know, um, or what you don't know. That's a tough question to, have, to is, answer. Is there anything that uh, maybe hasn't been announced yet for Yukon Striker in the POVs and stuff? Um, no, there's a few other things that we're going to add that we'll leave as a, as a surprise, um, but yeah, that'll come later. Alrighty, so we have an exciting construction update for Yukon Striker today, um, and as soon as we get up to that storage facility, you'll understand why. It is starting to look absolutely barren in there. Um, so as you can see, uh, there is hardly any track pieces left for Yukon Striker, and you'll see why once we get on over to the construction site. But I can tell you there are no more track pieces or support columns arriving from Ohio. Whatever is there is here. So. Um, as you're going to see, we're going to have some super zoomed in shots for you guys. So as you can see, there's work going on on Mindbuster and the Helix supports are in for Yukon Striker. So the support columns for the Helix have been installed. All they have to do is install the track work. And they got this really tiny blue crane in there um, that folds up that in will finish installing the Helix on its own. So they actually have a separate crane installing that while the big yellow crane is up there in the north installing the vertical loop. Yes, that's right, the vertical loop. The vertical loop is going in. So again, we will have some super zoomed in shots for you guys moving forward on Yukon Striker so you can see what we're talking about when we're talking about pieces being installed up north. It's gonna get a little harder for the drone to pick up stuff like that, um, but don't fret. There's gonna be some awesome updates for you guys. We're gonna have some super zoomed in shots for you. But as soon as we get that zoomed in shot, you're gonna see that they have the base on the exit of the vertical loop installed. And once they have that, so they have that, and they have the uh, entrance to the vertical loop installed, they're gonna install the support structure for the vertical loop, and then they're gonna actually install the pieces. And once they do that, it's usually a one-day project once the, once the support columns are installed. So as you can see there, uh, the exit of the vertical loop is installed, the entrance to the vertical loop is installed, and then they'll just put the support structure up and connect them all. And then after that, it's just the Immelman, um, and then the connecting, piece to the MCBR. It's it's not much left of this coaster. So again, I'm predicting this coaster should be done by the end of next week. So December 21st is my prediction. Yes, I could be wrong, um, but that's my prediction. So as you just saw on the screen there, that is what they're going to be working on down by the brake run. So they're just going to put the helix in. It'll go underneath that little airtime hill and then connect to the brake run. That is why the airtime hill is there. Um, the Helix is obviously to pay homage to Skyrider and the vertical loop as well. Um, and yeah, not too much. This is getting really exciting. This coaster is going to be done very shortly. And by be done, I mean the ironwork aspect of Yukon Striker. There's still plenty of more work to do. In fact, we have Frontier Canada that needs to get done. We have the station work that needs to get done um, and theming as a whole. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, there's a little bit of information that they've withheld. So we don't know what Frontier Canada is going to look like. We don't know what the trains are going to look like. We don't know what the theming is going to look like. There's a lot of information we don't know. And it is driving me absolutely insane. What a cliffhanger. So much information that we need to know and we don't. Um, but it's an exciting way to keep winter going for us enthusiasts. We'll find out slowly throughout the year. I'm sure they'll announce in the new year as teased in the tweet um, at, that you saw at the beginning of the video. But I couldn't be more excited. Um, I have no idea what's going on with Mindbuster yet. Still trying to figure out some minor details, but wanted to show you guys some things that were developing in the area. It's definitely getting really interesting. Anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.